So now let's see how we can work around with FX strip inside of Blender. So in order to work around with FX strip, I'm going to go around over here and here you can see that I already have a video clip on my video editing timeline inside of Blender. So to add in an FX strip, I'm going to go around into add and here you can see FX strip is an option. So depending on the items you select, you have different options right here. Let's say for example, there's transform right here. If I were to click on transform, another layer is there on the top. So now what it allows you to do is it allows you to work around with position of uh, the layer beneath it, as you can see right here, it is linked towards it. <laughs> you can go around and then uh, like just um, place it in different layers as well. So this is the effect strip applied to this. Similarly, I'm just going to go around and then let's say I'm going to rotate this out a bit. I'm going to scale this out right here and then just move this out over here in this axis. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and then I'm going to add effect strip right here. Let's say I want to work around with speed control. So if I were to go around, then you can see speed control is an option right here. So I can multiply the speed by 1.2, let's say, for example. And then what happens is that the video clips bear become faster right here. Similarly, I can go around add an effect strip right here. I can work around with glow. So there's a bit of a glow effect going on right there. You can go around, work around with different properties. As you can see, you work, in, uh, work around with clamping. You can work around with boost factor, blur distance and so forth and apply that out just like that according to how you like it. You can go around over here and then add as many effects strip as you want. You want to add in Gaussian blur, then you can go around and then work around with it. So I'm going to go around right here on the effects strip. You can see you can increase the Gaussian blur amount right here and then see the final output over here. And that is how you can work around with effects strip inside of Blender, inside of video editing mode. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.